In this video, I'm going to share some photo tips that hopefully you can put to use in your travels. It used to be that the person taking the photos was never in the picture. That is, you'd go to a family event or some type of gathering or maybe you're on some kind of travel excursion when the whole group gets together and you get a photograph and the one with the camera was always left out. But nowadays we're doing a lot of selfies. Everyone's taking selfies just about everywhere. Some tips about selfies. One, make sure that you get the place and not just your face. Take a picture of you at that monument or that overlook or that scenic area or wherever you'd like to take your picture, but make sure that you get the place and not just your face. Step aside, get some photos of the context of the area too, so that you have those memories to take back with you. Another tip is to make sure that you get something unique. I've been in an auto show and taking my photograph in the reflection of a hubcap. I've taken it hiking in the reflection on my GPS. We've been at a, a RV show and taken our reflection in the, the mirror on a big motorhome. And it just goes on and on and on. Use your creative imagination and get some unique selfies too. Unless you're just taking photos or video for Bookface or ChatSnap, you might want to take your camera out of the vertical or portrait position and put it in the horizontal or landscape position, especially if you're taking group photographs or doing landscape photography, getting those scenery shots. One of the reasons for doing this is that when you put your video on a computer or a television screen, it's in a horizontal format, usually 16.9 nowadays. So when you have that thin strip, we've all seen those videos, how horrible they look with just a thin strip going down. You might have seen them on news broadcasts and things like that. So just turn your camera into the horizontal or landscape position and you'll get better shots pretty much all the way around. I'll put a link in the video description to a video that YouTube did about why you shouldn't shoot vertical video. Have a look at that video. Remember when you're taking photos at events or attractions to include yourself, your family, and loved ones enjoying those events and attractions. For example, in a recent outdoor program that Susan and I conducted on the solar eclipse, we told the audience that they should take pictures of themselves wearing the so solar glasses and enjoying the solar eclipse rather than just getting pictures of the, uh, the eclipse itself. And in this way, they would have memories that they could look back on and see themselves enjoying the event. So when you're at events and attractions, remember to include yourself and others enjoying them in the videos or pictures. So how many times have you got your camera out only to miss the shot? Maybe you're trying to photograph a child or some wildlife or something like that and as soon as you get your camera ready, it, the moment's passed. Well, here's a way that you can make sure that that doesn't happen to you. You can pull your camera out and as you're taking it out, start firing off shots right away or click the video button to start video recording. Once it's video recording, then you can start composing. So you're, you're capturing everything that's going on at the time. So you might still get a little video clip out of it if the moment passes. You can take pictures while the video is going, and you can also take stills from the video footage when you import it into a computer. Another thing to keep in mind is the photographer's secret. And that is, when you go to take pictures, take a ton of pictures of what you're taking pictures. If you're taking a group shot, don't worry about making the group impatient or something like that. Take 10, 15 shots, whatever. At least take a few more than you normally do so that you get one great shot out of the deal. How many times have you got back and you looked on your camera and the picture looked great on it, but then when you looked at it on the computer, it was blurry or someone wasn't looking at the camera or somebody wasn't smiling or someone was looking away or, or maybe even the, the rabbit ran out of the shot or whatever. So make sure you take a lot of pictures and you're bound to get the photo that you're wanting.
There are a few accessories that are good to have along with you. First up is selfie sticks. Now you probably heard of the obvious use for these, that's taking selfies or groupies. Another reason to carry a selfie stick or an extension pole is to get close to uh, wildlife and things like that. Now I'm not talking about sticking a pole over a, uh, the fence at the zoo, that's not going to be a good thing to do. But if you're on the shoreline and maybe you're trying to get uh, photos or videos of the sea life, you can extend the pole and be able to get the shots without stepping on sensitive things on the, the rocks and the shore. And uh, you can also use them to get up above a, a crowd. You can extend the pole, put your camera on it, and get up above the crowd to get shots at uh, events or concerts or things like that. Something else that I like to take along with me is extra batteries. Whether it's for the cell phone camera or a compact camera, a DSLR, or a video camera, I usually take extra batteries along. I'll also carry a power pack, which will allow me to charge my action cams and cell phones many times over. So those are good to have on hand. You might also want to carry along a mini tripod. Some of these are great because uh, they can be uh, bent around to hold on to a branch or maybe a bench or a wall or something like that so that you can hold the uh, camera steady to get a shot. I also carry a little tiny compact one that I can carry in my camera pouch and put out on a picnic table if I just want to get some shots really quick. Those uh, come in handy. Also. Be sure to carry a lens cloth and a cleaning pen along with you to clean your lenses. If you're at the beach where there's blowing uh, sand and, and salt or maybe you're at an event where there's a lot of dust being kicked up, your lens is going to get dirty. So it's a good uh, thing to make sure that you continue to keep your lens clean. It's uh, really bad if you get back and find out you got a bunch of blurry shots because your lens had water or dust all over it. So these are some accessories that should come in handy. I hope you enjoyed those tips. Hopefully there's something that you can put to use in your travels. Please remember to comment, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. <laughs> Unless you're taking a picture for Bookface or Chapsnat, you might want... <laughs> Snap. Unless you're just taking photos or video for Bookface or Napchat,